Hello, this is Tom Styles again. I had a question on my last video where I was showing you the use of a scanner versus a shortwave radio to listen to the aircraft band. And the gentleman asked, why didn't I actually do some scanning of the aircraft band? Well, the reason is that all my VHF, UHF radios, mostly scanners, are on this side of the room instead of the side of the room over there where my desk is where I do my videos. So I didn't, I don't have an antenna for UHF and VHF over by my desk. So it really couldn't do any scanning because of that, because I didn't have a good antenna. But here's my setup for my scanners. Um, it's over on this side of the room. Uh, starting over here, I have an uh, antenna switch that lets me connect two different radios to one antenna. And then here I have on the top um, a little Bearcat scanner. It's uh, 20 channels, I think. And it's been wired to uh, allow me to receive satellite information from satellites going overhead and that's get the audio is fed into a computer and then the computer decodes that digital data and produces images such as maps and satellite images and stuff like that so that's what that one is dedicated for the one below it is a, a bearcat 780 pc 780 and that's used for local ems fire and police monitoring. Um, below that is a Radio Shack DX394 which is actually a shortwave radio and I had it there and I just haven't ever moved it because I don't move it that much. Down below that is a realistic Radio Shack Pro 2001. This is a very very old scanner and it was one of the, um, the first that was programmable. First scanners that was programmable. Still had the LED lights for the 16 channels. And then in the center, let's see if I got the camera pointed the right way. Let me move it a little bit. I have, this is the radio that I was demonstrating um, in the previous video. It's, it resides up here. Um, and it's connected to a discone antenna, a UHF, VHF discone antenna. And I use it, I use this radio for listening to the marine band. It can be used for listening to the aircraft band. Uh, unfortunately, I can't demonstrate it even now because it's uh, 9.30 at night and there's not much aircraft activity. There's still some, but it's not nothing compared what do you get in the daytime? The next one down is uh, another Bearcat, Uniden Bearcat. This is a BC-895. I have two of those. I really don't use those too much anymore. Over here we have a standard, and that's the name of brand of the radio, a standard scanner radio, which has a CRT screen, which is used to display a spectrum um, of the signals coming in. It's only one megahertz, one megahertz wide, so we only get to see a narrow part of the band that you're listening to. Down here is another unit in. This is a 9000. Um, and then going over here, oh, um, over here, right here is another antenna switch to connect up two radios to one antenna. And there's another one here, a third one here to do the same thing. So I have three antennas coming in and I can hook up, hook up six radios at one time. And then lastly over here I have my ICOM IC7000 which is a um, 30 megahertz to 1 point something gigahertz um, continuous including some bands that when this radio was available you were not allowed to listen to but this was before they outlawed 
those bands and well that's all I'll see about that so this is like I say this is my side of the room that's dedicated to UHF and VHF down below here I have uh, this is my ICOM um, my ICOM I forgot the model oh 706 this is my ICOM 706 ham radio and then I have a laptop here that it's used to decode some of the signals such as um, the weather data that's coming down from the satellites and then buried under this monitor is another laptop for controlling uh, some of these scanners like the A95 scanners can be computer controlled. So that's why I had to move that scanner that I showed you in the previous video which is up here on the top now I had to move it over to my desk and therefore could not use it to scan so what I'll I have to do if if um, not if but what I will do is I will move this laptop so that I can then put that scanner down here and then I can get the camera to point to it and do some scanning with it so that's the show just wanted to explain that to the person who asked that question and we'll say bye-bye.